Aaron, what did you like about the way Nestor threw the ball tonight? Pretty much everything. Uh, he was terrific. Um, good fastball you saw all night. Um, you, know, you talked about the changeup before the game. He mixed that in a little bit. Um, but just, you know, obviously against that offense, it's a, it's a load. And he was, he was in c control. Um, you know, used his cutter effectively. The slider was there. Um, just and, and overall p pretty pitch, pitch efficient too. Um, you know, he got up to about the number. I wasn't going to let him go past. So, you know, especially after Kirk made him work a little bit there um, to start that inning. So, but overall, just a really strong start to the season for Nestor. Understanding it's early and you had a number. He had been a guy, though, that you would maybe push a, a little bit last season. No temptation at all just because it's so early in the season and he had just thrown. No, no, because he was – I feel like he was up. I was, I was prepared to go through – through the bottom of the lineup with them, knowing I wanted uh, Holmes at the top coming back around. And, uh, you know, just the fact that he had to work, um, you know, as much as he did there with uh, Kirk and Chapman. Chapman got the double off him. I just felt like <clears> – I felt like that was – you know, I didn't want to push it there and get in a situation where we got ourselves in trouble. So um, – and I knew we were lined up pretty well back there tonight. Another solid evening for the bullpen, I believe, four and two-thirds scoreless. Why do you think they've been able to find such early season success? Well, they're really good. <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of – I mean, they're good at what they do. Um, and and they they all came in tonight and, and you know, did what we expect of them. And, uh, you know, feel like <clears throat> they got the right level of work in spring training, um, you know, you know, today with all the guys we used, had a couple days off going into this one, maybe with the exceptional low, he might have pitched two days ago. Um, so knew we were in a good spot with those guys. And, you know, especially going through this lineup, you know, if you can have those guys lined up, it gives yourselves a really a good chance. Randy and Justin. Hicks driving that ball the other way for a homer, hitting right-handed. Uh, what does that show you, and what do you think of his bat so far? I think he has a hit in every game, and he's taking his walks. I know it's early. Yeah. I feel like he's still finding his way, and but but that's the good thing about it is he is you know he's getting on base, he's mixing he's getting his hits. Um, really good to see him go the other way, right-handed. That's something that's in his game, you know, especially here being able to go. I don't think he felt like he even got it, but um, snuck it out of there. Um, so it, it's it's nice to see Aaron get kind of you know with with a bit, obviously a lost season last year for him. Um, I know he's really worked hard in the winter going to play in winter ball but physically getting himself ready he played a lot in spring training wanting to you know he was taking a lot of at bats he's even on the days he wasn't playing so he would be ready to go when he's come in and and really contributed and today set the tone for us offensively with a big first hit justin back to nester he had 15 swings on 30 fastballs what makes his fastball so lively despite him not living in the upper 90s yeah, it's got just really good characteristics to it. That's why I tell you his stuff's good. His fastball really plays up in the zone. He cuts it, um, you know, so he can backdoor cut you. He can cut it in on right-handed hitters. It's why he's effective against right-handed hitters. When he's executing, that heater really plays. I mean, you know, that's, you, you know, you're able to measure those things better. Back when I was playing, it was, man, that heater's all over me. And he's you look up, it's not overwhelming on the gun. But, uh Nestor's got that kind of fastball, and he's got that kind of command at the top of the zone with it. Uh, Larry and Joel. Getting, but you mentioned Hicks, but what did you think of the defensive play he, he made when you made a, and you had a four-man outfield in the second inning? Yeah, about gave me a heart attack there. Um, uh, so <laughs> the four-man worked well there because we were well-positioned, but uh, I think he misread it and turned into a, 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 a good catch to hang on. Joel. With the expectations for how this division is likely to play like last year, do you feel like there's a schedule within the schedule, which is the games against your AL East teams, and do they even take on some resonance here in April? Well, I think anytime you're going up against, you know, within the division and with certainly a team that you know you're going to be fighting for potentially a playoff spot, potentially the division, 
yeah, they take on double meeting. Um, I would say they're uh, extra important um, and probably even here in April. Yeah. Uh, you know, that said, you always have the perspective of the, the 162. But, yeah, I, I would say anytime we're with a division rival, we treat it as as doubly important. 